How's it going folks? Antoine here with Core Lifestyle and Tech and today we're going to be taking a look at the Hyvision HM211 outdoor Wi-Fi security camera. Um, security camera is something that I feel uh, almost everybody needs um, especially in this day and age when you got porch bandits people are running up on your property taking your product that you pay for you're busy at work you waiting on this package you you following all the steps but you know somebody beat you to the point somebody beat you to your own package so this camera was shipped out to me um, now it's not a sponsor review they didn't pay me to do a review on this product you know I'm just willing to review a product that will help anybody out there. Now this camera, depending on where you buy it, if you buy it off Amazon, the link is going to be in the description. It's only going for 50 bucks. But if you buy it from the, the, the manufacturer's website, it's going to be 70 bucks. The features that this camera has just mimics those of a commercial security system. For example, you have the auto detection, the motion detection spotlight. If anybody's walking up into the field of view, the motion, uh, motion detected spotlight is going to come on. Then you have the motion detected um, alarm sound. So you you have a, a particular alarm sound that's very interesting, and I, I want to show you guys this feature. Um, it's very cool. Um, as far as the 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 overall installation, it, it went through fairly smooth. Um, and you have the option to you know get their cloud service. They do offer a free trial, but you can also um, just store stuff to a, either a memory card or to your your cell phone or whatever device you're using it on so that's the cool thing about this device so without further ado we're going to get into it and go ahead and do the unboxing then i'm going to show you guys some videos and whatnot that i took so let's get into it all right let's take a look and see what we got on the inside so let's go ahead and slide this off voila open it up so you know front and center we have a free price so you run a free gift uh, you can claim that what we got here customer satisfaction card let's go on to the next one you have an instruction manual which is pretty thick pretty solid glossy you have english so keep that now this to the side let's get into the product the product itself so i mean just looking at it you know you get it's a metal casing. You have your Wi-Fi antenna right here. You have your rotatable bracket. And it looks like however way you mount it, you can either drill directly into your surface or you can run it down and then into the wall, which I see some stores. Some stores don't go directly into, but you know, that's just seen to here and there. Um, oh, and the bottom of it, you have your speaker, and I believe that is your SD card slot. And we're going to get into that later on. Let's see what we got here. This is the goodie packet right here. You have an Ethernet cable. Now, if you look right here, you see we have three different cores right here. You have your, your Ethernet slot. So you can hardwire this antenna. Um, right here, you have your power, power plug. Then you have your reset button right there. Alrighty. So it's going in. You have your Wi-Fi antenna. You have your, I believe this is the Ethernet cord um, water um, insulation kit. Um, right here. Let's see what we got here. Your template. This off. I think that. Okay. All right, you have your mounting kit and you have your power adapter so per the directions you want to make sure that it is all set up and running before you go ahead and mount it um, that is very important because you don't want to have to wherever you mount it you don't have to take out the ladder again go up and press the reset button to um get it set up again but just going to the direct going through the direction here. I mean the directions are great. You know, it shows you where everything going at the bottom here. You have um, an additional reset button next to the SD card slot. And I believe it takes the a micro SD card slot. And uh, just get a Phillip head. Crack this open. And I mean, it just feels solid. All this is metal. All this is metal, folks. And then you have your speaker right there. All this is metal. You have your 
uh, floodlights and the infrared lights on there somewhere. But just looking on the inside, you know, you have a silicone casing right here that surrounds it for additional water, watertight seal. You have a reset button. You have your micro SD card slot. So let's go ahead and just test it out. Just stick that in there. Okay, so micro SD. Micro SD works. Let's go ahead and get that back situated. Folks, what you want to do is you want to get that antenna on before you do anything, before you even go through the setup process. Now, the hardware kit comes with an Allen wrench. Now, with the Allen wrench, you can loosen up these bolts on the side and you can be able to adjust it. Now, if you notice, you won't be able to fit that antenna on unless you move that back bracket. So go ahead and tilt that down. Go ahead and screw that on. Screw that on. You know, just tone it up and then boom. All set, good to go. I mean, this camera looks great. Um, so we're going to hop on over to the app, go through the setup steps, and uh, yeah, show you guys how it works. All right, folks, so the first thing you want to do is download the Pix Plus app. You can see it's right there at the top of my screen. 4.3 star rating, over 10,000 review, over 10,000 downloads. Uh, so once you get it installed, go ahead and open it up. Now you're going to need to create a login, uh, real simple. You do not need a credit card information. Now, since I already have a camera set up, I have a camera thumbnail. But to add a camera, you see at the top right side of the screen, you have the plus button. You can select that. So once that comes up, you can choose what device you want to add. You have your intelligent, intelligent camera. Then you have your smart enunciator. Um, smart enunciators are just these devices right here, body sensors, um, different smoke sensors, different devices, but we're going to get into the intelligent camera. So this screen right here is different ways to add the camera. Um, you can scan the code uh, that is going to show up on your phone, uh, additional hot AP, addition of AP hotspot, um, addition by connecting to a network cable. All these methods are simple. All right, folks, so we're going to get into the, the setup process for getting your camera online so you can watch live video feeds and, you know, um, check on um, the Porsche Bandits. So I disconnected my camera so we can go through these steps again. So that's why we have the troubleshoot button. But the cool thing about this camera is it, it lets you know what's going on. So just get into what we have. We're going to re-add my Wi-Fi network. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through all steps so you can skip ahead to whichever method you want to use. I will say this. The one at the bottom is going to be um, your best option because that's going to be um, directly connected. You're going to be using the Ethernet cable. But let's just start at the top. Selecting that one. So you see right here it says power one hold the the reset button which is right here now they have two reset buttons you have one on the bottom which you have to unscrew that and then you have one right one right here which is easy to access I'm gonna press and hold that for five seconds and once you say that you can go ahead and just wait <clears throat> see that flood light the flood light is pretty bright all right. Just give a couple more seconds. So let's go ahead and select that. Check that box. All right. Camera start. Camera started. Select next. Wait for connection. So, as you can see right right here, we have to connect our mobile mobile device to our home Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my password. All right, so see here we have a QC code, QRC code. So we're just gonna put that right there in front of the camera so I can scan it. Network connecting, please wait. All right, so <clears throat> when you're using a Wi-Fi method, they tell you you need to be as close to your Wi-Fi router as possible, your cell phone and the camera. Um, so if you have any issues with this method, just get as close as possible. Just get as close as possible. You know, 
even though it might tell you Wi-Fi network was a success, it still may not be within range to establish a um, a good connection. So, so right here, we we heard the beep. So we heard the beep. So let's go ahead and go to the next step. And right here, it shows you right here the router, mobile phone, and device should be as close as possible. All right, folks. So the camera is on the line. See right here, we have my my hand. And we're getting alerts already. All right, folks. So we're gonna go to another method of adding your camera. Um, first one we did was the, was the QR code. And the next one we're gonna go to the AP hotspot. So right here, I'm gonna press and hold the reset button which I already did so what I'm gonna do here is select that box and select next so it's telling us right here the the camera is going to create a, a hotspot for you so we're gonna go to settings and we want to find that hotspot that they created so there we go right there Pix Plus AP and we want to connect to that so once we connect it then we can go back let's go ahead and go back and you know start Wi-Fi on the rest I mean it pretty much pretty much walks you through so go to settings again All right, so my phone did this thing it told me internet wasn't available so we're gonna go back again your phone might do that you might have to go go back and go forward go back and go forward now we have the next button right there so the next menu you're going to connect to your home wi-fi now this is all through the through the a uh, pix plus app so that's my home wi-fi right there and i'm just going to enter my password network connecting please wait all right see we got our percentage bar Again, folks, you want to be as close as possible. You might run into um, an error message at the end. Just you know, just get as close as possible um, during your setup process. That's why they say you know don't mount it or anything until you have the camera up and running. Then you can unplug it, pull it every, put it wherever you want to put it, and then it'll it's going to automatic automatically connect back um, to the to your to your network. All right, so the last method we're going to be using is via um, Ethernet cable. So let's go ahead and take us to that screen, re add Wi Fi, and that's going to be your, it's going to be your last option right here. All right, so we already did that. We got the camera reset, so we got our Ethernet port right here. So you just want to go ahead and put that in there. As you see right here, you got a, a green light that lets you know you are connected. So, so if we unplug this, the light is going to turn off. So that's how you know you got a connection. So if you ever in a situation where you got a hard wire, you need to troubleshoot, first thing you want to check is that light. So we want to go ahead and plug that back into our router. So our light is on and let's get back into the app all right so at this point what you want to do is the camera has a QR code on the back of it right there so you just want to get into some light all right and get that in the field of view and let's see if we can line that up Once you get that lined up, now this is the quickest way to do it. Again, you can you can do it this way, and then uh, you know hop on over to Wi-Fi. They do say that in the menu. You can set it up hardwired, and then uh, reconnect it uh, via Wi-Fi. So if you're going with the outdoor hardwired installation, they do give you a 
insulation kit for your ethernet cord you're gonna have four pieces you have the housing right here your rubber washer the cap then you have a weather rubber boot right there now keep in mind that um, ethernet cords like this if you have a tip like this it will not work because it will not go all the way down to where you can put your rubber boot on it will not go all the way down so you're going to have to have an ethernet cord without all that excess um, insulation at the end of it something like this and I mean making the ethernet cord yourself is real simple um, I have some tools right here you have a crimper and a cutter and then you have a tester right here now this this right here is pretty old I'm pretty sure they make them different now but you just click one in click one in there click one in there you know read how many pins you got if it all match up you're good to go so how it goes on is first you're gonna put your rubber washer on there slide that down got that on uh, you're gonna put your cap on you're gonna put your rubber boot on see it's split open so you can just slide down on there then you want to put your housing on so you're going to put it in that in first so you got that on there and just go ahead and stick it in there All right once you get that on there just go ahead and slide it down and that's going to create a tight seal then you just slide your weather boot down into that into that nice little concave right there once that's nice and snug, you can go ahead and drop your cap down. Tighten that up. Now you have a weatherproof seal right there. All right, folks, now that we have the camera set up, we're going to go over the features of the interface and just take a look at what it has to offer. Also, I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect it to an Amazon Alexa device as well. I'm going to do that after this. So, looking at the interface, first we're going to start off with the settings, top right side of the screen. So, starting at the top, you have your device name. You can input a personal name, or you can select from a a, a list right there. You have a time zone going down you have device switch which um, allows you to turn the camera off and on remotely and going down device off at you can set a, a schedule to where the camera turns off um, device microphone self-explanatory and then you have the alert the alert is the sound you get uh, whenever motion is detected for example if um, somebody's in the area they don't supposed to be in um, you can set the alert to go off so we're going to go ahead and sh check that out right now so you heard it you get a, a a dog barking sound and let me tell you when the camera is mounted high um and outside the the sound really resonates and um you know you want to look around and people are going to look around and try to figure out where that sound is coming from so that's a pretty cool feature so going down here to um night vision as you see i had it set on automatic but um what they do mention in the manual is when it's in night vision it's gonna uh, display a black and white picture um so let's go ahead and check that out way to turn it on all right so you see we got a black and white picture and they do also mention that changes in color um as far as like sunlight or you might you know metal shining on a camera or a flash of metal or a car driving by it can activate the motion detection so that's just something to keep in mind you know you can always adjust the sensitivity and then just going down you have the image rollover so you can roll an image over to um wherever so if you have the camera um in a certain spot or upside down hopefully you don't but you 
you know, you don't want to have the camera upside down, especially outside, because that's weather could get in. You remember, you have your speaker at the bottom. You have your, your SD card slot. Those are openings for water or moisture. So you want to have though you want to have the camera facing upright at all times if if possible so now you have device details um, firmware um, better application model type things like that device serial number and the serial number we're going to need for future uh, reference when we go to set up our um, Amazon Alexa so we're going down here to private share private share if you can you can um, share your camera with the family member so but they have to use another account they can create an account like I said it's free no credit cards needed um, and then they can access the camera the same as you going down we have our motion detection activated then you have device sensitivity we have low medium and high so we'll go ahead and just You know, I messed around with this. Um, even on medium, it tends to get, you know, get objects that are, you know, kind of far away or not even on your property. So um, having it at high, I mean, you can go for it, but, you know, I would recommend probably medium. But everybody's situation is different. So detection area, this is a cool feature. So wherever you have the camera mounted at maybe you get your camera facing down your driveway and it's also getting parts of the street so you can take out parts of the street or areas that you don't want it to detect select on finish is going to save those settings for you so going down even further we have push notifications uh, receive all notifications or receive a summary maybe you want them every hour every five minutes you know let's go back um, receive app notifications app notifications is you know when you get a notification pop up on your app just like when you get a text message you get a notification and I think I skipped one stop notification time you your device will not send notifications. so you can set a schedule for when it won't send you notifications going down um, device storage again you know I don't have an SD card um, in my camera yet, but all while I was testing it, I've been able to save video, take snapshots, and you know, all the stuff has been recorded into my phone. So if you're looking to do more with it, maybe you may want to put an SD card slot in your camera. That way, you can watch videos from the SD card slot. So next, let's go into the cloud packages. So looking at the cloud packages, um, you have continuous recording at the top, seven day storage. So it's going to do continuous recording after seven days. It's going to recycle. And that's only 69. Then going down, um, continuous storage, um, seven days. Then going down even further, you have the continuous recording, 30 days of storage. That's $20 per month. Going down 30 days, $199 per year. And so to show you the privilege of cloud storage, alarm playback, convenient check, real time alarm reminder, supported playback for multiple persons at any time. So let's go ahead and go back. Play videos from them. Um, like I said before, if you have a memory card inserted, a micro SD card inserted into the camera, you can play them from that. Um, you can play them from the cloud. Then at the bottom you have your change Wi-Fi, reboot device, or remove device. So if we go down to where we have our playback section, you see where it's a play button with an arrow wrapped around it. Um, this blue line, that's your playback section. So you have the blue bars, those are um, movement indicators or notification, um, movement notifications. It lets you know activity was going on through through that time so you can stop on one of them bars and then take a screenshot of whatever happened so somebody on your porch trying to steal your package um, you didn't catch it until you got home you know open up your timeline zoom back to where they did it take a snapshot 
and you know send it to wherever you need to send it to if you have a cloud service great you know you could send the whole video you know or if you have an SD card inserted you just play it play it back from a from your SD card so let's go on over again that's the snapshot button where you see the camera then you have the picture the full screen icon right there let's go ahead and go back now let's go to the bottom of the screen where you see it says cloud event just going down now looking at the top you see where it says shop that's the name of the camera all messages you can change that to whatever's going on or any type of motion detection you set now one thing about this camera it does not have sound detection because really that doesn't make sense for outdoor um, camera because you're going to get all types of noises outdoors but uh, going over you have your date so you can select the date when the event happened um, or when the event was triggered then you can check it out see what was going on so this is me doing some testing on the camera again this is night vision when the floodlight comes on it um, turns back to color because remember when I said when it's night vision it's black and white when it's um even if night vision is on and that floodlight is on it's going to display in color so that's you know that's pretty cool is is able to switch like that and then as far as the motion detection when I said that uh, it detects change in lighting certain lighting um, that's because per the manual it recognizes image pixels so if it's a drastic change in lighting um, it's going to detect that as movement because the image pixels have changed all right so just going down these are all the motion detection my cloud events so let's go over to cloud album which I do not have but as you see right here I get one hour of cloud storage and let's go back to live mode so you see that microphone right there you tap that and you're able to communicate you have two-way communications with who's ever on the other end of that camera which is a pretty cool feature so let's go over you have your sound which you can mute and let's go over to more and you have record so you can manually record an event uh, if you catch something going on your alert didn't detect you you can record it yourself and then going over again we have cloud album over there again I mean so pretty simple camera um, camera folks easy to operate just like you know all the other cameras out here but you know I would say the perk about this is the floodlight um, and the, the dog barking alert sound which um, you cannot change that sound is not um, change where you can't change it to any other sound it would be cool if you could change this like a police siren or a fire fire alarm or ambulance you know that would really you know shake somebody up but next let's um, jump into how to add the Lexus skill uh, for your uh, high vision smart camera so connecting with Amazon Alexa you're going to open your Alexa app search for the closely skill which is right there looks like that first thing you notice is that it only has one star out of 14 reviews so that means everyone gave it one star amazing um, but you know we're gonna check it out and see how it works for us now I we'll do I have to tell you that I, I this was connected to me I was connected before I just disconnected so I can show you guys how it worked so what we're gonna do is enable it once you enable the skill it's gonna take you to um, a cloud cam type website it's called closely now you're gonna use your picks plus login information to log in at this part alright so once you enter your Pix, Pix plus login information it's going to take you to where you need to enter your devices serial number now shortcut to doing this is you go back over to your Pix plus app you copy and paste you go to your settings you go to device name Let's see what we got. might have to do this go back go back into it um, go to settings oh device details you see where it says device ID you're gonna select on that copy and paste it 
or if you your phone don't allow you to copy and paste just write it down or you get it from the back of the camera so I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in there and do that now we're going to select allow so now it's linked so what I need to do next is close this window and then Alexa should start searching for um, devices if not I'm gonna have to manually do it so let's go over to devices it's kind of moving slow so cameras so it's, it's already back on like I said I had it on there before but if yours yours should search Alexa is gonna search for your camera then once it's pop up you just verify the name and you just go from there but mine is already connected so let's go over to my echo show second generation and see how it works alright so we have my echo show right here we're just gonna test it out see how it works Alexa show shop camera okay Amazing. 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 